I want to do some quick math for you. If you're doing PPC and you get a, let's say, 4x return on ad spend, okay? You spend $50,000. 4x return on ad spend gets you $200,000 in sales. Compare that to affiliate marketing, where maybe you offer a 10% commission on others who promote your product for you. And you get $200,000 in sales from the affiliate marketers who are promoting your product. That will cost you $20,000 in commissions. $20,000 versus $50,000. Which one is more efficient to you? And not only that, ads are push advertising, meaning you're pushing them down somebody's throat trying to get them to buy your product. Whereas affiliate marketing is other people who are trusted and respected and have authority already have a loyal audience who are recommending your products. Which one do you think is going to be better for your brand? Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman, CEO of Good Monster and chairman of Good Brands. We own companies like GFX and Good Growth, all related to commerce and marketing and AR and VR and cool shit like that for your business. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like all of that stuff because I talk all about it on this channel. And today we're talking specifically about affiliate marketing. It's not a common thing for brand marketers to talk about. A lot of the big brands do it, most of the big brands do it, and it's a really great way to drive revenue similar to influencer marketing. But affiliate marketing is quite simply setting up a, a link or a code that somebody can use to recommend your product either directly or sort of passively, you know, by putting products in their photos and things like that or in their blog posts. And when people click through that link or they use the code, that media company or that individual gets a commission on the sale. So you don't pay up front like you do for advertising or in most cases influencer marketing or in some cases influencer marketing. Uh, instead, you pay on the back end. After the sale is made, you pay out commissions. Uh, and there are a bunch of platforms out there that will help you facilitate this. But before we get into that, let's talk about why it's so important. So at the beginning of this video, I gave you a quick example. Um, and there, I'll give you some more examples of actual brands utilizing affiliate marketing uh, towards the end of this video. But affiliate marketing is very valuable because it taps into other people's audiences. So most of the media companies that you go to for your news, uh, whether it's Fox News or CNN or uh, Wall Street Journal, they all utilize some sort of affiliate marketing. Uh, they don't do it all the time, and it's probably not their major source of revenue uh, quite compared to, to, to display advertising or, or sponsored content. But it is a source of revenue, and you don't even know it's happening. It happens because as they're writing an article, uh, the, they'll have a link in there um, or, or maybe not directly in the article, but at the bottom. And the link will have an affiliate, uh, a specific affiliate URL, which tracks you when you click on it. If you go make a purchase, then the Wall Street Journal or CNN or whoever it is will get paid for it, right? Now, it's becoming a little bit less and less with media companies because they are charging you to read their content. So you have to pay to read the Wall Street Journal after the first free articles, first few free articles. Uh, it was just announced that CNN is coming out with CNN Plus. It's its own streaming network. Um, and I have no doubt there'll be a paywall there uh, at some point in the future. So as they move to more, more of this pay to read or pay to, to, to digest their content, the need for affiliate marketing will probably go away a little bit from a media standpoint. But when you look at bloggers and influencers, it's still a very, very large part of how they get paid. Uh, bloggers, there's one actually that I just, Adam Enfroy is the, the guy's name. You can Google him. I don't know much about him, but I know he's built a million dollar blog by himself using specifically affiliate marketing. He recommends uh, business software. And he talks about it on his blog. And anytime somebody clicks through to buy QuickBooks or Bluehost or whatever they want to buy, he gets paid on it. So it's a huge opportunity for solo entrepreneurs and, and you know smaller businesses as well as very large ones to uh, generate revenue. Now, on the creator side, like if you're a blogger or you're an influencer, 
It's a great way for you to earn revenue while recommending the products that you love. If you're on the brand side, it's a great way to tap into those blogger or those influencers audiences without paying them a ton upfront and instead seeing how they do. How do they do? Are they authentic? Are they trusted? Do they do a good job at creating content such that they can create content surrounding your product and drive sales? You can test all of that with affiliate marketing. That's one of the reasons why it's such a valuable thing for brands to look at because the upfront cost is low. Uh, the risk is relatively low and the upside of tapping into somebody else's loyal audience is through the roof. That is what marketing is and will be all about in the future. Uh, I, I just recently wrote an article and uh, did a video on third party cookies and how third party cookies are sort of, they're going away. Third party cookies are the things that trick follow you around the internet and show you those ads everywhere you go, right? They, you look at a pair of shoes on Amazon and 10 days later, you've been followed around the internet by those pair of shoes every single day, all day long. Those cookies are going away. First party cookies are still here. That means when you go to a website, they can collect some information to use on their own website, right? So with that change, affiliate marketing may change uh, a little bit because as you click through to buy something on that affiliate link, it can't follow you around the internet. And if you come back and make a purchase, uh, it can, you know, let that company know that you made the purchase. But affiliate marketing will shift just like everything else, right? If they're not going to use cookies, they're going to use um, they're going to use uh, browser uh, uh, history. Uh, it's called I can't remember what it's called browser um, browser something. It, it basically takes a snapshot of your browser and. Uh, your operating system and your interests and what you're searching and things like that. And it recommends things based on that. So Google Chrome or Apple Safari. One of the largest reasons affiliate marketing is so important for brands is that it allows you to tap into a current trusted, loyal audience of somebody else. It's somebody else recommending your brand or your product. That's why influencer marketing works so well. Uh, in fact, it'll influ influencer marketing and affiliate marketing a lot of times goes hand in hand. An influencer might have social media channels, maybe they have a blog. And so if they like your product and they want to start an affiliate relationship with you, where you get, you give them a commission on anything that is sold through their code or their link, they could put a link on their blog. They could use a code on their Instagram channel. Um, they could share that link on their, uh, on their LinkedIn or their Facebook um, they could put that link in their Instagram stories. So anytime somebody clicks on that link uh, and makes a purchase, they get paid, right? So it's a huge opportunity. It's just as big as influencer marketing. And in a lot of cases, as I mentioned, it goes hand in hand with influencer marketing. And you can also negotiate influencer pay if you have affiliate marketing set up. All right, an influencer normally is going to want an upfront payment. Let's say you're going to pay them $1,000 for a post. But if you have affiliate marketing and you're a reputable brand or you have proof of good affiliate sales by other influencers, you can go to them and say, listen, we'll give you 500 bucks for the post, uh, but we'll also give you 10 or 15% commission on anything that you sell. And here's five other influencers who have done the same thing and they, they earned $1,000 here and $5,000 there. So if you have that proof set up, you are you can negotiate your influencer costs down, your upfront costs down a little bit so that you can see which influencers are the ones that are really driving the best uh, 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 brand and driving the best revenue as well, right? So some examples of affiliate programs. We have CJ um, Affiliate is number one. Uh, Commission Junction is what they used to be called, and they've been around for decades. They were one of the first affiliate platforms. And all CJ does is they are the facilitator of the uh, commission sharing, uh, the actual payments of commissions, as well as the link and the tracking too. So you go into CJ, you sign up as a brand, you put how much commission you're willing to offer, you put um, you know any descriptions or instructions for affiliates. Influencers or bloggers can come onto CJ, they can search all the products on there and they can say, you know what, I like this one. They pick yours, they sign up, and then CJ assigns them with a link and a code that they can then go and share. And anytime somebody makes a purchase, CJ Affiliate uh, tracks that and notifies you how much sales was, was made per affiliate. And then 
uh, negotiates or, or facilitates rather the actual payment, the direct deposit into their PayPal or where they want. So it makes it super easy. Um, there's actually some uh, platforms that do this inside of Shopify. So if you're a Shopify store owner, uh, your e-commerce is run on Shopify. There is a plugin uh, known as Refersion. Refersion does essentially the same thing as CJ Affiliate, but it does it right within Shopify. So it makes it really easy for other Shopify stores actually to to use your um, uh, your catalog if they want to and recommend recommend it on their blog, right? So these are some more traditional affiliate platforms. Then there's a, a, a newer style of affiliate platform, which almost blends Amazon, like the marketplace environment with affiliate marketing, and that's uh, Rakuten. So Rakuten in the United States, you're going to start to see a ton of. I think they had Super Bowl commercials. They started in Japan, and they're big in Canada, they're big in France, and they're becoming big in the U.S., and they're, they're growing globally. I think they have 1.6 billion users, and they're in about 30 countries. So Rakuten style is that they act as the marketplace. They act as the Amazon. So people can go and they can download their app and shop products. But what Rakuten does is they act as the affiliate. So instead of a blogger acting as the affiliate or an influencer acting as the affiliate, Rakuten acts as a monster marketplace affiliate recommending your products. So as a brand, Rakuten can be huge because all you have to do is go in, sign up for Rakuten, and Rakuten will then go sell your products for you, and they'll get a commission on it, right? So it's, it's amazing. It's a great business model. I'm super interested to see uh, how that grows. And at Good Monster, we're getting into Rakuten, recommending it to some of our clients in addition to Amazon as another uh, outlet to, to sell their products. Then uh, you also have Amazon Associates is Amazon's own affiliate program where if you sell on Amazon, you can enter your product uh, or any of your products or your brand into Amazon Associates. And then influencers, social media influencers can sign up to be an Amazon associate and they can go through and pick any of the products on Amazon to recommend. So there's, unless you do it off the platform, there's no way to force somebody or recommend your product to an Amazon associate, right? Uh, but you can make it available and then they can come and select your product if it's right for them. So Amazon Associates, I think, gives 10%. That's sort of the standard. So if you are okay with giving 10% commissions, you can sign up for Amazon Associates uh, and offer that too. Uh, another one is Apple. Actually, Apple does it for their iTunes products. So not the physical products like iPhones and, and MacBooks, but they offer commissions um, on uh, books, audiobooks, podcasts, that might be it, games maybe. Uh, so iTunes products, Apple offers commissions. So if you're a blogger and you love reviewing books and podcasts and content and things like that, you can sign up to become an Apple affiliate. And they have a variety of different commission structures depending on what it is. They, uh, I think it's 7% uh, or something like that on a one-time purchase. But if it's a subscription, like if it's an app or something like that on uh, the App Store, then and you recommend that app, then I think they go up to 200% of the initial uh, price, like on the first, the like the first month's fee, right? So if a membership to an app is ten dollars, uh, they'll give you twenty bucks, but then you won't get the reoccurring commissions after that, right? That's how they recoup their their money. Um, so those are those are some of the platforms that can be utilized. And with, a, with companies like CJ Affiliate, uh, another one is AWIN, A-W-I-N, very close, the same as CJ Affiliate. Um, you sign up for them, and then you can promote that affiliate program to anybody. And they can go and sign up using CJ Affiliate. So they don't have to be on CJ Affiliate or anything like that. Whereas Amazon Associates or uh, eBay Affiliate, that's for pr products that are on their platform, right? My suggestion is you explore all of them. I even wrote a uh, tutorial on this over on my blog, jtimmerman.com. You can read all, read all about that, but figure out which one is right for you. Obviously, if you're on Amazon, you can sign up for Amazon Associates. If you're not, you can't. Same thing with eBay. Same thing with Apple. But for CJ Affiliates and Ewin, you can go, no matter where your products are, sign up to become a brand and promote that to other affiliates. So some examples of other brands that are doing this effectively. MVMT. M as in Michael, VMT is a watch company. I am not wearing my MVMT watch today. I have one of them, uh, two of them actually. 
uh, it's a it's a watch company that really grew in the 2010s on social media. They grew their brand very effectively, and they were the they sort of positioned themselves as a luxury watch with a much more affordable price tag. So they're in the hundreds of dollars rather than the high hundreds or thousands. Um, everything is usually under 200 bucks, give or take. And MVMT started to use traditional affiliate marketing, but also a rewards program, which depending on your definition could be all under the affiliate uh, umbrella. So affiliate marketing is paying commissions, actual money, right? Somebody recommends your product, one of their audience members buys it, uh, your brand pays the affiliate a commission for that purchase. A rewards program is a little bit different. You don't necessarily pay out actual money. A lot of times it's a credit for more purchases or it's a free gift or, or, or something like that. So a rewards program is usually for current or repeat customers. And a rewards program acts like an affiliate, meaning current customers can uh, recommend a friend or recommend a product to a friend and then they get you know $50 in, in credit that they can use, right? Um, and then that blends into other programs like a loyalty program, which is different than affiliate. Loyalty is if you buy, come back and buy products, then you get perks uh, that you can use for towards future products. But affiliate marketing is based on commission. And MVMT uh, is, is widely successful. They combined this with influencer marketing, which they use to grow their brand. So if you go back and look at their Instagram, which is the main platform they used to grow in the early days, it was all influencers. They sent their product to an influencer. They had them take the uh, the stereotypical watch picture, which was actually created by MVMT. It's basically a, a shot down on somebody's hand and feet doing something cool, like they're on the top of a mountain or they're snowboarding, and you know the picture focuses on the watch. They did this, uh, and they sent it to influencers. Influencers would post this and say, use my code and get 15% off. We've all seen that, right? That's affiliate marketing. That's affiliate marketing. They are an affiliate of that company. They're recommending it and they get a percentage of the sale. Use my code, get 10% off. If you went and used that code, you get 10% off, but then they might get 10% commission. So MVMT did this uh, really, really well. Um, and my guess is half the brands that you've seen have offered this kind of program. If you go to their website, scroll down to the bottom, they probably have some sort of partners, affiliates, uh, associates. They have some sort of link which describes their affiliate program. This is even bigger in, in the software space. Almost all software companies have an affiliate uh, program. And it's big, 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 big bucks. I mentioned at the earlier part of this video, Adam Enfroy. Adam Enfroy is a, a gentleman I came across who's doing a million dollar blog business based on just business software. He recommends business software in woven in with his other content and he makes uh, over a million dollars a year just on affiliate marketing. Great for him, but even better for Bluehost and whoever else he's recommending, QuickBooks or like I said, any of the software programs because they're just sitting back and letting Adam and Freud recommend their product for them and then they get paid on the back end. Another instance of this uh, are all the credit card review sites, insurance review sites, personal finance sites. All of these sites utilize affiliate marketing. So any of you consumers out there watching this, non-marketers out there that don't know this world, all of those sites are making recommendations that are biased because those recommendations that they're making, if you click that credit card or that insurance policy or that personal finance software, they get paid. So that's not to say that what they're putting in their information is not right or it's not honest, but they are getting paid for it. So it's important for you to know that. So from a brand perspective, this is huge bucks. You are leveraging other people's audience and other people's opinions and other people's recommendations to generate sales for yourself. And you generally only have to give up 10, 15, maybe 20% of the revenue from that sale uh, to get it, okay? So not only are you getting the revenue, but if you're partnering with the right influencers or the right affiliates, they're also helping to expose and, and, and uh, expand your brand to their audience. So it's a win-win-win. Affiliate marketing is a great way to tap into other people's audience for 
no little or no upfront money. Uh, and you're basically only getting, uh, you're only paying for actual performance. It's a great model. I highly suggest you look into it. Again, if you're interested in a more in-depth look, head over to my blog, jtimmerman.com. Just search affiliate marketing. You'll see the blog post. And you can look at the tutorial there. And if you enjoy content about business marketing, uh, AR, VR, social commerce, e-commerce, anything to grow your business in a digital environment, that's what this channel is all about. Highly suggest you subscribe. And as always, leave me some comments. Any of the videos you see, leave a comment. Good, bad, indifferent. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. I use that feedback to craft my future videos. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.